the idea of our research is that we are trying to measure the orbital angular momentum of light. And so our laser goes through setup and then it splits into two photons and we're trying to measure to see if the orbital angular momentum of those two photons is entangled or not. We do that by using phase holograms, which change the orbital angular momentum of the light that goes through them. It lets us have lots of different states in which the photons we send can be. And so that can be used in quantum cryptography to send photons that carry different information depending on which state they are in. So it's secure because if someone spies on a quantum cryptography channel, the people that are communicating can detect it. And so they can cancel their communication if they know someone's spying. And so you can see in here, um, so these are the fibers coming in with the light. And then this is uh, the photodiode. So in here, pretty much every photon that comes in sends off an electrical signal, which, which counts it. And then it goes all the way to our counting electronics. So we're interested in getting, getting the light exactly on the center of that fork. Um, and as I said, we can't, we, can't, we can't see when that's happening. So the way, the way we can do that, though, is by, is by measuring how many photons get through to the single-mode fibers and how many, how many photons arrive at the same time. 49, 42, 54. Working in a lab is very different because you don't have well-defined problems. You, you aren't sure if, if you even have the tools to solve them. Uh, but you, you, have to, you have to try and solve them anyway. So uh, it's, uh, it's exciting.